Hello, everybody. Hope you had a nice morning. Decent weather here. All right. Uh, of course, we have Naomi Gurma and Alyssa Thompson, whose combined age is less than mine. So, <laughs> so I'm going to have to live by far. So I'm going to have to live with that. Um, and make use of it in the way that you and Sophia and others have to get out this message about mental health to the entire world like this. Yeah, I mean, I think it's something that's really important to me and so um, we t what he's referring to is we did like a celebration like that which was um, our friend Katie's like go to so we said if one of us scored probably her <laughs> <laughs> that we would do that so um, yeah I think it's just another way of us honoring her and um, with the players Tribune piece and a lot of players Alyssa included um, just speaking out on mental health, I think we see this as an opportunity to shed light on a lot of things that are important to us. And I think that's been something that's at the core of this team for so long. And for us to come in now and, you know, carry on that legacy is something that's really important to us. Lakin up front. Lakin, what are just some of the takeaways or pieces of advice that either of you have learned from Julie or Alex? Um, yeah, I think I'll speak for myself, but Alex has been great in giving advice, just kind of preparing me for what to expect going into the World Cup, and I would say a lot of our veteran players have been really good at that, um, and I think just, um, they've just been telling us to enjoy the moment and soak it in, and I think in that first game, that was really big, just, um, staying calm and, um, yeah, just knowing that it's a normal game and trusting ourselves to go out and get the job done. On your own, or do you wait for the wait for the coaches to fill you in on things? Yeah, I like watching the games. Um, I think like we've been watching all like in our in our lounge, just having them on. I know some of them we can't catch because they're they're late here, <laughs> unfortunately. But um, yeah, I enjoy watching other games. I think it's it's what we expect. You know, everyone's going to be a hard opponent in this World Cup and in our group. So, um, yeah, I think it's as we expected. Just now it's preparing for them. And, um, yeah, obviously our coaches give us the final analysis. So I think for me it was just watching to get an impression. People have been talking that, this, that the game is getting closer and closer. And do you think that's being thrown out with what we've seen so far? Yeah. Um, I think it's to be expected, and I think going to this World Cup, um, you know, the game has just grown, and a lot of federations have grown as well. So I think it's to be expected, and I think it's great to see so many countries coming in and making a great impression on the world stage. Let's go, Meg. What are your thoughts on it? Do you pay attention to it, and is it just an unnecessary fuss about nothing? Thanks. Yeah, I think it's... Um, I mean, I think when we're out there, we're preparing for the game, and, um, you know, that isn't the focus. So ultimately, every player has the choice. So, yeah, I think, um, yeah, that's what I would say. JT. Um, that allowed you to play like you're a veteran. Um, I think I definitely felt the nerves before the game. Um, and But once the whistle blew and we were just in it, um, I did feel that like calmness, that confidence. Um, I think that's also comes from the talk from Julie, Crystal, Alyssa, all around me, just uh, the constant communication. And I think that helps me zone in and helps me stay focused. So, um, yeah. Juliet McCurr with the New York Times. I'm wondering. Again, I think for me, Julie has helped a lot as well. She is just an overall team player and she helps everyone on the team. So being able to know her a little bit better from club is really nice. Um, yeah, she helps me just stay calm and she really knows what she's doing and um, is that's just really helpful for me too. Goff right here. It feel different than, you know, like track suits at a friendly. Um, I think the suits are really cool. Like everyone felt very put together and um, it just felt like our first World Cup game. So I liked them a lot. Yeah, I liked it. Look good, feel good, play good. <laughs> it was great. That right here. Here, other than all of us and, and the, the uh, 
the, the attire, is there anything that has surprised you so far? Um, I think the players have told us, like, expect the unexpected, kind of. So everything that has happened so far, I feel like, has just been a part of what it means to be in the World Cup. Um, for me, nothing has been too unexpected. Really. Yeah, I'd agree. Fair in the back. And did you ever dream that four years later you would be appearing in a World Cup? Um, I think I was at my aunt's house and I was watching the game because I don't have a TV at my house. So we would always go to my um, aunt's or grandparents' house to watch games and stuff. And I was with, surrounded by like my whole family. We were watching the game. Um, and I just remember how like intense the game was and how back and forth um, – it was, and it was a tough game, and I was really nervous <laughs> uh, for the team, but we pulled through with the win, so I was super excited that we got to win another World Cup. Um, and in that moment, I wasn't really thinking about, oh, the next one I'm going to be at because I felt so young, and um, it felt like so far away. But being here now is crazy to me because I didn't think about it in the moment. What else we got? Middle? your head do you have kind of a mantra or something that you do right before you go on um how did it feel um it felt amazing honestly I feel like when I was warming up I was pretty nervous just to play my first world cup game but once I was on the sideline I was like kind of overcome with happiness and excitement just because I was going into my first world cup and I didn't like I I wasn't feeling any other emotion, so I actually like, couldn't help but smile. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I've never felt that feeling before, but it was really cool, and I was really happy. <laughs> she was probably like, this crowd is small compared to my first game. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, here. To see that, Ali Riley, you get to see um, day to day at Angel City. Can you just take us inside what it's like having her sort of around the team? as a captain and a leader? She is just such an amazing person. Like, I can't describe how cool she is and everything that she brings to the team. She's an amazing captain, and she has really helped me, like, come into the team as a new player. Um, yeah, I. she is kind of like a mother figure to me, too, because she just has been really helpful. She, we went to the same high school, so we connect on that a lot, and she's been to, like, my school and stuff. It's just been fun getting able, being able to, like, connect with her on that level, and um, she always has my back, which, and she has everyone's on the team's back, so you can really feel that, and she's so genuine about everything that she talks about and believes in, so it's so cool just being able to have, like, a role model like that. She come to one of your classes once? Yeah. She, she came to class. Yeah. <laughs> she came to class with Alyssa. Did she participate or she just? Yeah, she, she did. did. <laughs> she did participate. It's funny. Which class was it? English. English. Yeah. yeah. Good job, Allie. Uh, anything else? No? Okay. We'll break it down up here.